All right, everybody who is on the team, come on up. Don't be shy. Come on up here and we'll stand together. Just real quickly, I want to, we're just going to hear from a couple of the students. Um, you guys can kind of flame, form a half circle behind me or something like that. Uh, you know, I think I maybe have explained to, to many of you folks, we had this dream of, and vision of doing a mission trip to Mexico or maybe to Oakland or something like that like we've done in the past, and the Lord closed the doors, and we realized, Michelle and I realized that, you know, every time we come back from one of those trips, we always end up saying, we should be doing this stuff here at home. And the Lord opened the doors and made it clear that he wanted us to do this mission trip here in Sacramento. So we spent the whole week sleeping here in the building, going to a couple of different shower houses each night so we didn't smell too badly. Um, and so just a quick rundown. I mean, it was a wonderful, wonderful week. It was a busy week, and a few students are going to share their experiences. But just a quick overview. We started out by helping to lead the chapel service at Union Gospel Mission Sunday night, and then we served at a clothing distribution center. We volunteered at a thrift shop that funds programs to help homeless people find resources. We worked with children in the summer program at a school in, the, in a low-income neighborhood. We served dinner to homeless people in Rush Park and uh, had an opportunity to pray with many of those folks. Um, we visited a recovery house where people shared with us, us their amazing stories of transformation. We sorted hundreds of pounds of food at the Sacramento Food Bank. We returned to that same school and performed a puppet show for them on Thursday, and we volunteered at a community family night in Oak Park, and we rode lots of buses and light rail and did a lot of walking, right? A lot, a lot of walking, and we talked and prayed with a lot of people that we met on the street, many of them within a few blocks of here. It was really, really awesome. So first up to share her experience is, is Lydia Kang. Lydia? Hi, as you know, I'm Lydia. All right, <laughs> just want to get that cleared out. <laughs> All right, on the mission trip, God showed me and others many things. He also worked on my heart. I met this 13-year-old boy named Jesse. Jesse had been living on the streets and by himself. He was separated from his dad when his dad went out to find food. When I met Jesse, he really touched my heart. Seeing a teen live on the streets alone and having to provide for himself really made me think how we take a lot of things for granted. During the time with Jesse, a couple of our youth talked to him, um, and he opened up to us. After meeting, a lot of the youth wanted to invite him to youth group. This showed me that it's okay to talk to strangers and open up to them. A lot of people on the streets really need someone to talk to and that can, give them an that can give you an opportunity to share Jesus to them. Moving forward, I want to keep up the work that God has done in my heart, and I want to reach out to everyone I can that needs a friend. And before we hear from the next student, go ahead and roll that video. We can just kind of have those pictures playing in the background. I don't know why the sound is coming out of that projector, but please try to ignore it. But this is just some pictures of what happened. Next, Enrique Passos. There we go. All right. So I'm Enrique, and I'm a sophomore. So this past week has had a huge impact on me and my fellow attendees. The beginning of the week was mellow, and everyone was very quiet. People didn't really open up to conversations. Later on, everyone started to open up and actually have fun. Everyone was comfortable to speak as themselves. My favorite day of the week was Friday because we didn't really have a plan of what we were going to do. We just let God guide us so we could do whatever we wanted. Uh, that day taught me that we can always trust him no matter where we are or when we are. And then I learned that God is always working through us. You just don't really know if he's working, but you only notice if you're looking for him. Right, thank you. And finally, Noel Gonzalez. Uh, hi, I'm Noel. My favorite part of this mission trip was when we put on a puppet show for the students at Bell Avenue Elementary School. Unlike the other places we volunteered at, the puppet show resulted in an immediate response to our efforts. The laughter and shouts of joy made my heart sing. 
I felt, I feel, excuse me, I feel like I was serving the Lord by reaching out to the kids. Such a positive response from both the students and teachers really made me want to do something like this again. I'm Michelle, I was the other leader with Steve this week. And um, all I wanted to say to you guys is when um, we've been in this building for, um, gosh, about a year and a half, something like that. And all along I've felt like our building has been in someone else's neighborhood. And now, after being out and talking to people in the neighborhood, I feel like this neighborhood is our church's neighborhood. And so that was just a really neat thing that God showed me this week. So, Thank you all for supporting us and loving us. It was awesome. God bless you.